Two tragic deaths expose the perils of an activity few people think is dangerous. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Yenji Denise. And I'm Kenny Choi. Two men died while they were snorkeling over the weekend. We do not have their names yet, but they were 31 and 32 years old from California visiting friends here. The two were snorkeling with a third man off Hunakai Street in Kahala when they ran into trouble. The man who survived was helped to shore by a surfer who happened to be nearby. And believe it or not, snorkeling is the single deadliest activity for tourists here in Hawaii. It's a troubling trend, and Saturday's incident underscores the dangers. KITV Force Andrew Pereira continues our coverage tonight. Andrew. Well, Yunji Kenny, the numbers are actually quite startling. Since 2009, an average of nearly 16 tourists have died every year while snorkeling. Swimming, surfing, and diving offer thrill seekers plenty to do in Hawaiian waters. But in the past five years, more tourists have died snorkeling than any of them. Not much of a surprise to Kurt Taguma of Maui Sporting Goods in Waikiki. I'm not surprised because a lot of the tourists are coming from places where they're not acclimated to the ocean. Maybe the swimming pool, but the ocean is a whole different story. Saturday at about 6 p.m., two men from California, 31 and 32 years old, drowned while snorkeling off Hunakai Street in Kahala. A third man was helped ashore by a surfer who happened to be nearby. Taguma believes the men fell victim to inexperience and a swift moving current. And we did check it was an outgoing tide. So all that water from the flats is going into the channel and going out. And you compile that with surf coming in, making the surf even rougher. Uh, just too many things going wrong to be a safe day, probably. According to the state health department, 79 visitors have died in Hawaii over the past five years while snorkeling. That far outpaces other ocean activities such as swimming, scuba, or surfing. Nearly every one of these folks that um, perishes is 55 or older. These incidents happen in three feet of water or less, and they could literally ha could have stood up. The victims in Saturday's double drowning off Kahala don't fit the stereotype, but those familiar with the ocean say snorkeling is more strenuous than it appears. Now, you don't have to be in Olympic condition, but you've got to be able to swim. Then there's the snorkel itself. If you're not experienced, it's easy to inhale a tube full of salt water into your lungs. That's why Taguma recommends snorkels with built-in valves for those just starting out. Water will go in. If it's a little water, it'll funnel around it. If it's a lot of water, there's a valve in here that'll just shut off. So you cannot breathe in. Although Honolulu's Ocean Safety Division warns visitors to always swim at guarded beaches like Hanauma Bay, lifeguards are at a disadvantage since it's extremely difficult to pinpoint a snorkeler who may be drowning. There is really no yelling or screaming or waving of arms. Basically, our lifeguards have to determine who hasn't moved in the last three minutes. The state health department says snorkeling related drownings are the leading cause of injury related deaths among non Hawaii residents over the past five years. That's more than motor vehicle crashes and falls combined. Kenny and Yanji, 